Hey guys, welcome back again to another exciting video. Previously, we have discussed about the violin. We hope you have learned a lot about it. If you have not seen the previous video, then you can catch up with it by clicking the link in description. Here in today's video, we will give you the complete introduction on Israj. Therefore, before we begin, if you are new to this channel and like the content what we post, then go and hit the subscribe button and push the bell icon so that you will not miss any new videos when we upload them over here. Let's get started. Esraj is an Indian stringed instrument found in two forms throughout the Indian subcontinent. It is a relatively recent instrument being only about 300 years old. It is found in North India, primarily Punjab, where it is used in Sikh music and Hindustani classical composition and in West Bengal. The Esraj is a modern variant of the Dilruba differing slightly in structure. Dilruba was created by the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, who based on it on much older and heavier. Thus, this made it more convenient for the Khalsa the Sikh army to carry the instrument on horseback. Dilruba and its variant, the Esraj, had been declining popularity for many decades. By the 1980s, the instrument was nearly extinct. However, with the rising influence of the Gurmat Sangeet movement, the instrument has been once again attracting attention. Esraj is the main accompanying instrument for Rabindra Sangeet in Shantiniketan. Esraj is a combination between Saringda and Sitar. The base of the instrument is like the Saringda while the neck and strings are like Sitar. It gives a sound very much like Sarangi without being as difficult to play. According to the folklore, Esraj was created by Ishwari Raj, a musician who lived in Gayadam. Although both these instruments that is Esraj and Dilruba bear almost twin technical characteristics, there are few differences which justify their having two separate identities. The similarities and difference in both the instruments as follows. At first, the similarities. Both the instruments emerged after combining the feature of Sarangi and Sitar. Both have a long fingerboard with frets and parched skin sound box and are played with the bow. Strings are made of metal instead of gut and sound is produced with the help of the left hand fingertips like the sitar. The wood used for making the structure is tun or sagwan. The body is divided into two parts that is the fingerboard called dun and the sound box called kundi or piala. The portion where the two pieces are joined is called gulu, which is an important joint and has to be done very carefully. The sound box is covered with parched goat skin and the bridge is fixed in the middle of this skin. The bridge is thin like that of the sarangi. The main strings rest on the grooves made on the bridge while the sympathetic strings pass through the holes drilled in the bridge. The extra belt of leather is fixed tightly under the bridge and nailed on the corners of the soundboard to give extra support to the leather under the bridge. In the Esraj, this belt is put on the skin whereas in Dilruba, the belt is often fixed on the inside of the skin and is not visible. The number of frets in both the instrument is the same which varies from 17 to 19. This Elliptical frets are made of metal and like the sitar, they can be moved up and down as when required. The techniques of playing both the instruments are the same. The bowing is done with the right hand and the left hand's fore and middle fingers slide upon the string and frets longitudinally. The frets are only to give the player an idea about the positioning of the note. The strings are never pulled like the sitar. Almost all the finer nuances of the sarangi can be played upon this instrument while the presence of frets facilitate some of the sitar-like techniques such as cut notes in this instrument. Thus, both the styles gayaki and tantra can be played upon it. 
The holding position of the esraj and dildruba is almost the same. The instrument is played either on the lap or in front of the player and the fingerboard rests on the left shoulder. An extra wooden strip is added to the side of the fingerboard to accommodate the tuning pegs of the sympathetic strings in both the instruments. Well, that was the similarities. Now let's see the differences. The main difference between the esraj and dilruba is the shape of the sound box. The dilruba has a broad rectangular or rather trapezoid sarang like sound box whereas the esraj has a roundish oval shaped sound box which is cut from the sides to facilitate bowing. The fingerboard of the dilruba is broader than that of esraj in order to accommodate more sympathetic strings. Though most of the dilrubas have four main playing strings like the esraj but in some dilrubas we find six main playing strings the number of sympathetic strings also varies in the esraj we find 15 sympathetic strings whereas in dilruba we have 20 to 22 sympathetic strings because of which it has more resonance than the esraj The arrangement and tuning of sympathetic strings in the dilruba is more or less like the sarangi. The shape of the bow of the esraj is quite different from that of the dilruba. As discussed earlier, the dilruba is more popular in western India, but the esraj is popular in the eastern regions like Bihar, Bengal, Orissa and Assam. Now, let's see the construction of the esraj, but First we will see the parts of the esraj and here in this photo you will find the detailed parts of an esraj Now let's see the construction the dilruba and its variant the esraj have a similar yet distinct construction style with each having a medium sized sitar like neck with 20 heavy metal frets This neck carries a long wooden rack of 20 to 15 sympathetic strings known as the tarav string and 2 to 3 jawari strings by the jawari strings one can give emphasis on the vadi samvadi naeshwar notes jawari helps in producing a more piercing sound sometimes there is no jawari strings the dilruba has more sympathetic strings and a differently shaped body than the esraj esraj has main four strings while dilruba has six both which are bowed All strings are metals. The sound board is a stretched piece of goat skin similar to what is found on a sarangi. Occasionally, the instrument has a goad affixed to the top for balance or for tone enhancement. There are two variants of esraj played in Shantiniketan, the traditional one and the modern model developed by Pandit Ranadhir Roy, which is bigger in size. The newer model has a larger amplifier or a larger sound box which is perforated. An instrument maker of Kolkata named Dulal Patra worked to develop a newer model of esraj as per Ranadhir Roy's instruction. Now let's see the playing. The instrument can be rested between the knees while the player kneels or more commonly rested on the knee of the player while sitting. or also on the floor just in front of the player while the neck leaning on the left shoulder only the esraj players of shanti niketan keep the esraj erect by resting it on their lap it is played with a bow known as a gaz with the other hand moving along the strings over the frets the player may slide the note up or down to achieve the portmanteau or mean The esraj can imitate the gamak of vocal music and by using the middle finger one can create krintan. Pandit Ranadhir Roy used sitar baz, sarod baz and esraj baz in his compositions. Well, that was a complete introduction on esraj. We hope you have understood today's concept. If you have any queries then feel free to contact us. You will find the contact details down in the description. If you have liked today's video then don't forget to drop a like to it and share it with your family and friends so that even they get to know about the favorite instrument the esraj.
you should go and hit the subscribe button and push the bell icon so that you will not miss any important or exciting videos when we upload it. You can follow us over Facebook and Instagram for more updates. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video very soon. Till then, you can watch the rest of the videos we have uploaded which are going to appear right now here on the screen.